Plants are amazing. Even if you don't feed them, most would grow fine. But if you want your plants to perform like a champ, well, you have to offer nutrition. And that's where things get a little crazy. Rebecca Coles breaks it all down for us. There's a lot of choices when it comes to plant fertilizers. Time released, granular, water soluble, some for violets, orchids, others for tomatoes, flowers, organic, synthetic, oh, all enough to make your head spin. It really does. So what I've done here is I've categorized all the fertilizers to make it easier. We're going to start with time release or slow release fertilizers. These are little granulars that over time slowly release nutrients into the soil. They're activated from water, heat, sunlight and soil microbes. Nutrients are metered out over several weeks. Now the disadvantage of slow release fertilizer it's slow, that's the name. That's when a water soluble kicks in. This can be found usually in a powdered form, which is widely found in, in most garden centers, or you can buy it already pre-mixed. What I like about this is that it goes directly to the root system, so it feeds the plant right away, gives it that great jump start to get growing. This is really excellent for the production of fruits, vegetables, and flowers. And then there's organic fertilizers. They are usually made with plant or animal products like compost, worm castings, bone mill, or fish emulsion. So one thing you have to know with organic or natural fertilizers, they do take longer to feed the plants. However, they feed the soil. So it really does have great long-term benefit. Now, organic fertilizers can cost a little more, and for those on a budget, we still have synthetic fertilizers, which are basically man-made fertilizers. They tend to give plants a pretty quick pick-me-up. They're great for fast-growing plants like tomatoes, houseplants, and potted plants. Now, since most synthetic fertilizers are higher in salt, you have to be real careful when you use it because too much will burn the plant. So I always say cut the dose right in half and you should be fine. The next question everybody asks, what's my favorite? Well, my ingredient for great food for the plants includes worm castings. I love worm castings. Not only do they feed the plant, but they help build up the soil. And that's really what it's all about. But because it's slow in feeding the plants, I kick it up a little bit with a little bit of blue juice. Rebecca Coles, WCCO 4 News. And you can find more of Rebecca's DIY tips for the home and for the garden. It's all on her Instagram page.